Dan? Penny, just what you can say about, you know, this conference in and of itself, just the, the talent level of it. And if you're surprised that it doesn't get the respect that that it deserves nationally and that there is this question of the bubble when it comes to the American. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate because I was talking this morning about how they disrespect our conference. I'm not they're picking seven and eight teams from conferences that have lost seven, to eight games in a row. They're respecting that conference that much. They really don't give us the the respect that we deserve. We have some really good teams and really good talent in this in this conference. And I just don't know why they're not looking at at what we have. It's, it's really, I'm, I'm watching all the games around the country and all of these different uh, conference tournaments. And I'm like, man, our teams in this conference could play well in those, in those conference tournaments as well. So it's really baffling what's really going on with that. I don't know whose idea it was or whose decision it is that the AAC is not good, but they're wrong. And then just to look at the fact of you not only winning at Memphis, but winning in a place that's so near and dear to your heart, just what it is to have that, you know, Memphis Tiger on your chest, your whole, you know, your whole life growing up to be connected to it and to be connected to it right now as the head coach and to get to see these young men do what they're doing. Yeah, this is this is the dream come true for me. It's, it's full circle. And from when I played, I, I went to the NCAA tournament and went to made it to the Elite Eight. Never thought I would be the head coach right now, but being in this position and, and having our guys kind of be in the same position that I was in and I can be there to lead them and try to get them to a, to a higher level, man, it feels great. You know, being at home, being at my alma mater, having this jersey on myself and then watching them go out there and play. You know, I just, I talk to Coach Finch all the time, man, through prayer and I know he's smiling down on us right now.